Hi, I'm Vanetta Scrivo for Houdini, and I'm here to show you how to shape your eyebrows. We have our model Lucy here. As you can see, it's very important to shape your eyebrows properly because they do frame the face. And you can see Lucy, we've done her right eyebrow, and this is a very beautiful shape for her face shape. And the left eyebrow is not done yet, and that's what we're going to work on and show you how to shape your own eyebrow. And if you just look forward, Lucy, um, that's where your eyebrow should start. Anything over in this area should be tweezed out. Uh, and where the eyebrow should end should be the tip of your nose to the corner of your eye. And that's where your eyebrow should end. And that is the basic shape. So you always want to start from the inner corner going out, working outwards. And you want to go row by row. And that's really the best way. And also you should trim your eyebrows. You should always brush them up. And anything sort of longer than it should be, you can just trim. You can take a small scissors and just pick up the eye just a little bit so it's taut and trim whatever you see that's just a tad too long. Then you can also brush them down and trim underneath. You have to be very careful doing this. You have a steady hand. So we'll just trim that. Now we're going to start with the tweezing. So following the guideline that I mentioned, the eyebrow should start right about there. So we're just going to remove those few hairs on Lucy and open up that eye area for her. And now we can really see those beautiful blue eyes that she has. So now I'm going to show you um, from the tip of the nose to the corner of the eye is where you want the eyebrow to end. So there's just a few hairs on Lucy that I'm going to tweeze to make sure that that line is perfect. As you have the, the, the proper dimension for where the eyebrow should start, you should really start tweezing down there and then have it just swoop over just a little bit. You don't want that to be perfectly straight up. You want it to be up and over. And then focusing on the end of the eyebrow, as you see, that's a much better place for that eyebrow to end. And once you start tweezing the interior of the eyebrow, the brow bone is exposed and it creates an instant lift. So it's a very youthful, youthful tool that you have if you have the right shaped eyebrow. So now I'm going to start tweezing in the interior of the eyebrow, going row by row. Don't over tweeze. That is probably the number one problem that I've seen people over tweeze their eyebrows. If anything, under tweeze. Less is more. And if you find that you have hairs above your eyebrow that you don't like, there is no reason why you cannot tweeze them out. Just make sure you follow the same line as you would underneath. Now we're going to really go into the arch. And this is a very important part because you want to expose that brow bone. You want to bring lift to the eye area. And another trick you can do when you're applying your makeup is adding a little bit of highlighter to the brow bone. And you even go into the inner corners of the eye and even on top of the cheekbone. As you can see shaping Lucy's eyebrows today, it's really opened up her eye area and it looks beautiful. And it's so important to have the right shape for your eyebrow. So go to a professional makeup artist, have them shape your eyebrows, and then you can follow the line that they've created for you. Well, that's it. I'm Vanetta Scrivo for Howdini.